three. Do not like sporty types of hats. 
they grumble, and they say, I like hats that are great. And they all like to express a reverend children. They like yellow hats, but none of them like caps. This next section says, Unseasoned hat. That means hat in the wrong season. It was a very cold, white winter's morning. One of the little boys was waking up from the house, and they realized that when the boy looked in his mother's wardrobe, he did not see a cap, and he asked his mother, Where is your cap? Well, to tell you the truth, I don't like caps because they're itchy and they don't suit me. Well, if they don't suit you, you have to wear them. Summer hats and spring hats, fall hats will never, ever do. But no buts, but no buts, but no buts, they argued over and over again. She tried it, but her ears freeze to death. She went inside, and she made a very big grumble. Ah! This hat is not suitable. My ears are freezing. You should have listened to me, said the son. And you should have listened to me, said the father, who told you at the beginning of the morning to wear warm hats. Winter warm hats. But when they said it, she still wouldn't listen to them. By God, sincerely made me. So what do you think she said about the hats? Yes. Now, that's good because you don't like hats. Now, we're going to turn to one more page in this book before we go on to making our uh, hat uh, tittle telegraphs. Now, let's see if I can... Oh, there, there's one. So, this one says a song about hats. One day there was a young girl walking along the streets of Molina. Molina is an idiot. She saw a hat show. Fine hats. The best hats. She thought, she went in, picked the hat, and went out. She sang, I like the hat better than. But as she kept singing, she says, Slaves don't sing in the street. She turned around. It was Maud Montgomery. He was coming from the opposite direction. Slaves do not sing. And as you know, we are slaves. Well, I can sing when I feel like it. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can. 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 Yes, I can. Yes, I can. And recently, it changed into a song. It's a very good song creating book. Now, if we have time, tomorrow we can read it. Okay? Now, we need to go to the whiteboard because I'm going to show you what I mean. Okay? So, I'm going to show you what I mean by basically everything. Alright. Now, I'm going to set this little whiteboard up here. And it will stay. So that's a very good sign of knowledge. Okay? So, I have some crayons. And now what's going to happen is I'm going to just hone the camera a little bit. Good. And now I'm going to need some Kleenex, okay? So why do you stay there? Let's see if 
I can at least. Oh, no, do I doubt. Well, guess what I'm going to do. I'm going to just pretend that it dried out. All right? Well, I'm going to use the other side. So I'm going to use the other side because I don't want anything going wrong. So, I don't have everything perfect today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use what I have. Now, this is how you make, before we start, this is how you make tempo letters. Now, that's how you make them. All you do is you make swirls. This is simple to do. So here you make... Okay, so that's how you do. Now... Let's see how we do it. So, our first word is going to be my hat. My hat is like this. My, and then H is like this. My, and then Y is like this. And then, I forget, and then A is like this, T, here you make it, Twenty, isn't it, and then I goes like this, and then the S is like that, a good curvy cursive. And it's in, it's in the cursive family. This writing is an ancient writing that's in the cursive. So, I am going to put just a circle down here. 